I have five points to share. And the first is, uh, I think, uh, India at 75. Why is it uh, important? I think probably we are fifth in terms of the uh, GDP in the world. And uh, the world is looking at India in a very different uh, light, right? I think compared to many, maybe a decade ago and things like that. Making time to think is possibly the second point that I would like to put forth. Um, and making time to think, I feel, is a from my experience has been a superb strategy in terms of both leadership and also in terms of succeeding in life, right? So when you make the time to think what happens, few things happen, right? One, you get a lot of clarity. The thought process is more clear. And what happens when you have clarity? Clarity precedes success. So unless you are able to make some time to think for yourself, be it in your personal space or in your professional or in your academic space, it's very important to do that so that you know what is the way forward, what is the approach, where do you want to be and things like that. My third point here is the power of focus. Most of you know that when you start focusing on something, invariably you get good at it, you get better at it, right? If you want to lose weight, then you do fitness, right? You do running, you do go to the gym and things like that, but you do it consistently over a period of time. Then you actually start shedding uh, a few pounds and you be in shape, you're mentally alert and things like that. So the power of focus also is about what are the few things that you want to do in terms of gaining skills or areas that you want to focus upon. And then with the passion of excellence, if you constantly keep doing it, then over a period of time, you start seeing a compounding effect. One good quick story around this is the name of the book is Outliers. For anyone to achieve uh, greatness or genius, he talks about something called 10,000 hours, right? 10,000 hours of practice, 10,000 hours of doing the same thing again and again and focusing on improvements. So there will be a lot of opportunities that come your way, opportunities like e yantra opportunities like hackathon, opportunities like mentorship. If you can get involved in it, practice on your skills, it will really uh, take you towards uh, you know, being very good at what you're doing. The fourth point is your learning abilities and problem solving skills. If you take companies like Ola or Flipkart or Amazon, what is the problem that they're solving, right? If you just pay attention to it, that's the easiest thing for us to understand. Likewise, in your stream, in your uh, field, in your discipline, what is the key problem that you want to solve? And how do you couple it with an insatiable quest for learning, right? I think these two things, if you're able to club together, I think that will be a a great progress that all of you can make. What defines success for you? Success is equal to consistency in some way. Success is equal to doing the daily routine, daily grind, day in and day out, irrespective of what the condition is, irrespective of it's a good day, bad day. You turn up and then you do that consistently on a daily basis. These are the five things that I wanted to just circle around. And uh, with that, thank you again for E. Yantra, Professor and Madam and all of you to give this opportunity to speak about entrepreneurship and my experiences in entrepreneurship.